One of the big problems with any high boost turbo engine and my own experience with the 4G63 certainly no different is head gasket integrity is key and what I mean by this is we can make as much power as we want provided we've got turbo in there but at some point the cylinder pressure tends to actually physically lift the cylinder head off the block and allowing the combustion pressure to leak out into the cooling system so how are you addressing that? Mate, just with a copper head gasket and fire rings and they just crush against the head. So the, the fire rings, there's a variety of um, options there and materials and uh, things that people refer to as fire rings. Can you get a little more, more specific on what you're running? Yeah, what are they called? Aluminium bronze? Aluminium bronze. Um, so this, this has been something we've seen uh, the likes of the, the Proline uh, drag engines run as well. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward, it works. Um, half inch head studs, pretty basic setup now, yeah. When it comes to building a 4G63, there's a lot of options these days, and they have been for a while. There's 2 litre, 2.1, 2.4, 2.2. You can use the 63 and the 64 block, which have a different deck height and different bore diameter. Can you give us a rundown on why you've chosen the 63 block and the 2.2 stroker kit? Where, where do you see the, the sort of advantages and maybe disadvantages of that setup? I mean, I, I like to keep it with the 63 block, um, reason being bore size as well keep the ball a bit tighter. Um, the 64 just find that it's starting off at 86mm, this one's starting on at 85 um, just a bit more integrity in the block yeah. um, and I find that it makes you know just the amount of power, just, as, just the same amount of power if not more. Yeah I think that there's the old story that there's no replacement for displacement but there's some truth in that, but when you're running a turbocharger, you can actually make up for a, a, a lot of displacement with a couple more psi of boost. And you're you're right, the the 64 block, particularly if you go to an oversize on that, uh, you're ending up with a lot less material, particularly between cylinders and a thinner sleeve. So yeah, I think I think that makes a lot of sense. If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.